the 2013 Bonnie Awards. Tonight we honor the very best of the shoestring players, otherwise known as the AI Theater Troupe, or what a president at another university called it, any chance to see me in a suit. <laughs> uh, I'm Eric Sprouse. For those of you who do not know me, I'm advisor for the Theater Troupe, and uh, I'm here to go over some of the uh, award stuff. Uh, now before we start, I'd like to get everybody in the mood, so if we can all get up, uh, we'll do a sing-along. No, I'm just kidding. Sit down. Are you kidding? It's not karaoke compared to what Rook would want. So if you reach out of your seats for your 3D glasses, uh, we'll start. No, I'm just kidding. We can't do it in 3D because the film club won't give us the cameras yet. No, I'm telling you, you cannot have the cameras. So that's all gone. So hopefully I'm glad we get cameras to begin with. Uh, anyway. I was told to give us a short monologue before the show, uh, just to show off my uh, speech-making abilities. I understand that. And I appreciate that, John. It wouldn't be an award show without your mouth. So, uh, let's continue forward. Uh, please, I have been told to tell everyone to silence their cell phones and their pagers. I just shut off mine. Uh, if you have that little app on there with the flashing light, you know, that goes off in meetings like mine always does, please turn that off as well, okay? Um, Okay, I was told to write a little monologue, so I was told to write something out. Uh, here it is. Uh, don't forget to write speech. <laughs> Check other pocket. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hope the audience laughed about what was in your pocket because you have no other material. Also, do your laundry. Okay, that won't work. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, just pretend to sit back and laugh at my stupid jokes. Um, a couple of quick announcements. Is uh, Dean Byrne here tonight? I think I saw her outside. Am I uh, reminding people of Instagram? <laughs> Hashtag it up. I don't even know what that means, okay? So, uh, Instagram is available for people to look at. How's that? Shit, yeah, I might have a job tomorrow. <laughs> I got that right. Um, okay, uh, a couple other quick announcements. Please fill in as much as you can from the doorway. You don't want to clog the entrance. I know the seating is tight, but we have a bigger crowd than I even humanly anticipated. So uh, please do what you can. Sign-in sheets are at the concession stand so I can have members of the Effective Speaking Club check in. Uh, the other one for the end of the night is in my pocket. <laughs> yes, you have to stay for the entire Titanic sinking. So do I. Right. Well, I that is a I'm just that's in my pocket. I'm just happy to see me. So, uh, one last couple things tonight. When you're watching the show, please remember there are no drama majors at this school. The people that did this show tonight did this entirely off the cuff. There's not a lot of dramatic training. Only what they bring to the table. Uh, they have had community theater, perhaps, and maybe they had some in high school, and with those wonderful abilities that they've had, they made a wonderful uh, bouquet of magic and put it all together for us tonight. Uh, pictures are encouraged, so please <laughs> take a look. Thank you. Wait, wait, somebody. Thank you. <laughs> Save my joke. <laughs> all right, uh, so let's get this puppy started. Uh, to present our first award for the evening, Please welcome Best Director nominee for the evening for The Kiss, Mr. Eric O'Donnell. All right, now, now with a better introduction. Yes, hello, my name is Eric O'Donnell. And, well, good evening. I was, po I was told to read a script. Even, because they don't trust me. Even with, good evening, even with a one act play or 10 minute play as we call them in the business, an extraordinary amount of work goes into making it real. After all, a play is more than just saying words on stage. It's about making the audience believe in what is happening on the, in front of them on the stage. That being said, we don't have a drama department, and just like he just said, 
And as most and most of what you see with these plays either comes from a very small budget or right out of the wallets of the director or the couch from my living room or the trench, trench, trench coat from my Uncle Phil. These are so hilarious jokes. <laughs> but that's community theater, folks. And sometimes, just sometimes, it turns out to be really good. Here are the nominees for Best Costumes and Props from Weekend of One Act Six. Murder by Midnight, directed by John Pittman. Get to the Chapel, directed by Robert Bryant. The Chocolate Affair, directed by Kathleen Med. What Happens Behind the Bar stays behind the bar, directed by Justin Moore. The Gas Station Amendment with a mysterious director, because it has no name. And last but not least, certainly not least, Squashed by Grapefruit, directed by Linda Carver. And the winner is... So climactic! I'm doing this for... These, these envelopes are made of titanium! The winner is... Get to the Chapel, directed by Robert Bryant. Hold it, hold it, hold it. He told me to interrupt you because he didn't want you taking it. Go, 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 Come back. Do I look like a dog to you? Yes. No, you can continue on. He wanted me to do that to you. But Beyonce did a better job. Oh, she's better looking Ladies than you. Ladies and Taylor Swift! <laughs> she's a person. Yes. Harrier, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bryant couldn't be here tonight, so I'm accepting this award on his behalf. His dedication, his... Uh, his humor and his lightheartedness brought a real gem to the theater. So, uh, on behalf of Robert Bryant, to his cast, his co workers, to Mr. Sprouse, I say thank you. Uh, Eric O'Donnell, you might make fun of the script, but maybe you should stick to it. <laughs> There is a tie for this category. The second winner is... The Chocolate Affair, directed by Kathleen Med. The Chocolate Affair, directed by Kathleen Med. I feel like I should hand this over to um, Eric instead because he did most of the work for me. <laughs> we had the ideas in place, but I didn't have time to go out shopping. I didn't have Walter's size. <laughs> <laughs> have Walter's size. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I have Walter's size. No, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Okay, um, we can't have an award show without some rules, right? So obviously you have seen the first tie of the evening. I don't know what it is with this troupe. They can't make decisions. Like there are several ties tonight and we've never, Rook, you've been here since the first, wow, since the first one, right? Since like 2000 and like the Stone Age. And <laughs> during that time, have we, what's, the what age? Wait, or, or like my effective speaking class is like to say, back in the day. I'm not sure when the date is for that, but back in the... What happened was... What, what happened was... Uh, now, we, have we ever had an award show without a tie? No. 
I don't think we have. Yeah, and we have a couple tonight to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me go over a couple of rules with you so you understand how we arrive at these decisions. Uh, all voting is done by the members of the shoestring players on the Monday following the production. Uh, you had to receive at least, I'm sorry, you're not nominated unless you receive at least one nomination that night during the voting. There are eight different categories. Only students at AI are considered for awards. For example, our academic director, Ryan Miller, hosted elementary dating techniques, and while I'm sure he would sweep, okay, by winning the award, he's ineligible because this is only for students. Uh, myself, for example, uh, Eric had mentioned the mysterious director for the gas station amendment. I was that mysterious director. So I would not be eligible for that because I'm not a student, okay? So I uh, just want to make sure we were clear for that and that the awards are only for students. All right, so to present our next award for the evening, please welcome Best Actress nominee this evening for What Happens Behind the Bar Stays Behind the Bar, Miss Amanda Vogt. <laughs> Good evening. Yes. While the basic components of theater are nothing more than just actors and a script, most theater productions are incomplete without the addition of costumes and makeup. God knows some people here could use some. Um, we've already recognized costumes and props on a shoestring budget, but what about makeup? This year only one play received a nomination because of its story, a look at the comedic side of human race and even death. The story required visual aesthetics such as lighting, lightning bolts to the face, and being hit by a train. Tonight, tonight we recognize the play that almost wasn't several times because of its difficulty in simply making it believable. And the winner is... for the 2013 Bonnie Award for Best Makeup is Squash Like a Grapefruit. supposed to come up here because there's so many of us but I tell you what um, this definitely goes to Rook. Um, Rook came in the last minute and was like I'll do makeup because I'm awesome and I was like okay so um, Rook I want you to have this. You know, when they said some of our actors and actresses could really use some makeup, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd like to dedicate this to Dom Harriel. John got the joke. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You mean John Pittman's not going to come up here and stop him? Kanye, time is money. So I was teaching my effective speaking classes the other day, and I told him a stupid story <laughs> about walking into a, uh, a, a, a pub, we'll say, and uh, I had a different hat on each time. This was years ago, uh, to pick someone up. So they said, you know, you, you couldn't do that tonight at the award show or something. So I said, okay, so every time I'm going to come out on stage, I'm going to have a different hat. So I, I said, challenge extended, challenge accepted. So I said, I'd give it a shot. So I'm going to do that all night long. Uh, first. I would like to thank the members of the Effective Speaking Club today and the Effective Speaking class for helping setting up for tonight's event. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. Second, I would also like to remind you that there is no, there will probably be a brief intermission in between the Friday and the Saturday night show tonight. So you can treat this like a movie premiere or like going to the movies. Um, Nadra, hit the backspace. 
Hit it again. There you go, just like going back in time. Look, where was I? So, the concession stand is open even after the pizza runs out. Uh, we have snacks, candy, concessions, drinks, things there, typical stuff you need. Uh, tonight's show will also be podcast uh, on shoestringplayers.net. That's our website of the theater string, or for the theater troupe here. Uh, shoestringplayers.net, you'll see this broadcast on there in the next month or so. All right, to present our next award for the evening, please welcome Best Actor nominee for the evening uh, for The Kiss and Get to the Chapel, Mr. Nick McQueen. Yeah. <laughs> so can we have another quick round of applause for Mr. Eric Sprouse? <laughs> Two Titanic jokes in what, 10 minutes? Keeping that material fresh. Uh, yeah, but I don't think my voice really needs it. I mean. Much like your breath, fresh. <laughs> yeah. Is this a little bit better? All right, anyways, past the awkward. Um, I'm supposed to have a script as well, so let's go for this and see if we don't screw it up. Good evening. These are the moments we live for on stage, particularly in a one-act play little bit higher now. The laugh. <laughs> Laughter, please. Thank you, thank you. It's not my script, remember that. Rook wrote it. <laughs> no wonder it's not funny. <laughs> it's okay, we all love you. You're like a big teddy bear. And that's why we keep you around. <laughs> the moment you know when you peaked in a comedy. Should have read that before I made the joke. Uh, it's what we as actors live for when we do these plays. Remember, you don't stop laughing because you age. You age because you stop laughing. Good one, Rook. Here are the nominees for biggest laugh of the night from Weekend of One Acts 6. Okay, number one, we have elemental, elementary dating, the art of seduction. I hope all the guys saw that. Number two, the sure thing. So what if I don't have a penis? Yes, but what's the flip? <laughs> one. Okay. Number three, squash like a grapefruit. Uh, the story where Mr. Matthews evacuated his bowels a lot. We're recording, remember this. Murder by Midnight, hit with the frying pan. The gas station amendment, Page Flashing Rook. Murder by Midnight. <laughs> Page Flashing Joe. I'm getting a theme from this. Okay, uh, roll call. Professor's Attendance. Should have read that one the other way. Oh well. Uh, biggest Laugh nominee. Proper Parenting Skills. Jumping for Joy. Leaping for joy. I'm sorry, it's a little flirt, very flirt, 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 words. Um, the DMV lady, the unfocused sex. The sure thing, the bell. <laughs> what happens behind the bar? 
I'm gonna read it from here because this is a little bit better. Sam, you're pissing blood out your pecker. <laughs> Number 12, squashed like a grapefruit. The death toll rises. And number 13, the kiss, the kiss. And the winner is <clears throat> Harry Hole in Elementary Dating Techniques. Thanks, guys. I just try to be really funny. <laughs> what, no dance? Did anyone see a pattern forming here? Yes. Paige likes to flash people. <laughs> like, what's the deal with that? We're like Paige, but we're waiting. Like, Paige, do you want to have like a little cameo up here to... No? Nah, I know. You like so good? All right, somebody keeping record. Second cowboy, second hat of the night. Third hat of the night. Second cowboy? So, se wait, second, second cowboy. Third hat of the night. All right. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the award because a lot of people don't know what this trophy is, what it represents. Uh, the Bonnie itself is a beautiful award generously provided by an outside vendor, and we're not accustomed, like I said, to ties here. Ironically, we've never had an award show without one. Um, even tonight, like we said, there's several. So in the case of a tie, all the parties involved in the tie would receive the Bonnie. Uh, since this is our award show from the spring of 2013, and we can pretty much do whatever the hell we want to do, I think it's important to recognize three individuals tonight. Because without them, uh, we would have been, well, the fires behind the scenes in June would have been wonderful to see from Cleveland. Uh, now they were just, now, <laughs> now they were just a visible like over the hill of Governor's Hill. Uh, so I want to recognize three people tonight, and that's our stage managers. Uh, could you come up and just say a couple words? Uh, the first of all I wanted to recognize was uh, Nature Scott. It was, how's this, is this better? Is this better? Awesome. Yeah, I have no clue what to say, but thank you. This was an awesome experience with these crazy psychotic art students. But yeah, I had a lot of fun and yeah, I don't know what to say. All right. So thank you, yeah. All right, a woman of few words. Uh, Bright Myers, are you in the house? I thought I saw you here tonight somewhere. Bright Myers, come on down. It's a very, very huge honor to be standing up here tonight. I um, had quite a lot of fun just working on anything to do with the theater tube. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't already been, you should definitely come next time. It's a good time. Um, yeah, uh, though during during the nights of the show, I think I much rather would have been in Cleveland watching those fires than here uh, getting scorched, putting them out. But um, it was an honor to be such a big part of making it run smooth. That was pretty awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Brian. And the third person I'd like to recognize is Margie Coleman, our wardrobe property person that night. Where's she at? There she is. Come on down. Thank you. 
Oh, you're grounded. Yay. Didn't know I was going to be up here. Hi. Um, yeah. So um, Paul performs with a lot of different groups, and I tend to stage manage for him. So he had a new performing thing, and he said, hey, will you help backstage? And I was like, sure. And um, you all are crazy. I just want to say that right now. That was an incre incredibly crazy two nights. And I have learned a lot about college theater. And um, hey, thanks for being nice and welcoming me. Thanks. All right. <laughs> nice job. Thank you, guys. Uh, to present our next award of the evening, please welcome Best Actress nominee for uh, What Happens Behind the Bar Stays Behind the Bar and Proper Parenting Skills, along with Squashed Like a Grapefruit, Miss Molly McDonald. <laughs> So good evening. This award is really special because we discover who bleeds theater in their veins. Despite the classwork, the personal life, and the calls from Eric Sprouls at 2 a.m. <laughs> this person continues to give, or these people, continue to give their all not only in their own play, but all the subsequent plays they get roped into. It's the guy you can count on. You know, that guy. Now, there are a lot of people here who have eh, appeared in three or four plays, but hear me out as to why these two people stand out above everybody else. Our first recipient was directing his own play when he discovered that another play was having problems. When that director finally bailed without any notice, this guy recast it, tweaked it, and brought it back to life, in addition to directing his own play. It also helped, he also helped the actors that were already on board and found new actors so that the play wouldn't be dropped. And I should know, because I was one of those actors. And the winner is, if I can get this envelope open. I'm building dramatic tension. It won't come out. I'm making a mess. Surprise! It's Justin Moore. Didn't think I was going to win anything, but uh, I actually enjoyed both of the plays I directed. Um, the What Happens Behind the Bar it was taking a huge hit, and it would have gone down in flames. But um, I tried to do what I can, what I could, to rekindle the fire, and we actually enjoyed it a lot. Uh, same with the audition; it was just as much fun as the other one. Getting involved with the actors and actresses was was what I like to do anyway, because so, I was acting in a play before, and I just did what I knew and that was show them what I see and I did it. Thank you. So our second recipient of the night was in one play this quarter, then another, and then another. Finally, when the old director of the play had quit, and not once, but this play went through three different directors. This amazing woman took over and recast and placed herself in the main role. And she worked on this play till the bitter end. And we got it together in three days. Even though she was already committed to two other plays. <clears throat> and that's special because she really proved that she was the go-to guy. And gal. <laughs> so I'm not even going to try and tear this envelope open. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Linda Carver. Aww. So 
I was not going to be in theater at all this quarter. Well, I guess last quarter. Was that last quarter? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shows you how much I'm with that. Um, but all of a sudden, you know, uh, Eric hands me a script and he goes, just so you know, you're in this play. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not. And he's like, yeah, you are. Well, I'll see you at rehearsal. So uh, that happened not only once, but twice. And whilst enjoying my one weekend of freedom, I get a call. And of course, it's, it's Eric. <laughs> Linda, how you doing? What do you want, Eric? What, what do you want? How would you like to be a director? I wouldn't, Eric. Oh, uh, I, got a, I got a play for you. I'll see you on Monday. So, um, you know, I, I, had a, I had a bit of crap talked about me for this one because people thought, eh, she's just some chick. She can't pull it off. Well, uh, that's for you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. What's the matter? I got something on me. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice hat. Hey. No. That's all the way through. That's nice. Yeah. Hey, you know what? That'll show you. That's my tally at four. Linda, that'll show you in a quarter where we have theater. Don't answer your phone in week nine. <laughs> or, or your text. That's why I like texts are cool because they get through. And I know, I know it's getting through. Because I have the thing that says received. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Here's what I want to challenge everybody in this room to do, because these people work very hard at these positions in theater. And I'm looking around, and I see a lot of people here that came for the free food. How about applauding? Can I see some applause right now? Everybody. 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 That's what I'm talking about. When somebody gets an award, hey, guess what? He may be a peer, and hey, you may be jealous. I don't blame you. These awards are awesome. But you need to applaud for that guy or that gal. OK? Thank you. I wanted to take a small moment to preview our improv show. In week 10, it will be Friday night. Uh, it will be hosted by Mr. Chris Butts. And we'll feature uh, certain uh, members of the theater troupe here. And uh, I want to encourage you all to come out. It will be a Friday night. I think probably about 7 o'clock we're going to try to go through uh, with it <laughs> and see what happens. It's improv, baby. You never know what will happen, so make sure you come out. What's the date on that? We should probably show up. Friday the 13th. It's September. <laughs> All right? So come on out. Uh, to present our next award of the evening and to get me off the stage before you egg me off because of my construction hat, uh, please welcome Best Director nominee for Get to the Chapel. Oh, no. Robert Bryan is not here tonight. So, who is presenting for Best Director? Who has the... Ah! Please welcome, welcome Miss Lauren Stacy, nominee for Best Actress this evening. Yeah, Rook. Thanks, Rook. You screwed up, Rook. Rook, Rook screwed that one up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Pittman and Rook. That hat makes me party. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the shoestring players come to that most important part of the night where all the ladies get their nod. And uh, looking around the room and looking around the list, it, it seems that, uh, what's that script say? Once, ag once again, the Best Actress of the Year award. This year, we have an abundance of beautiful ladies to choose from. Hey, look, before we continue this, uh, the hell with the script. John. Uh, that, that. The reason they picked me to be the presenter of this category is, well, come on, man. I'm looking pretty damn good. Now, the reason they chose you well, you kind of like that. You know how the, the cute chick always takes the fat, ugly one with her so she looks better? It's quite why you're here. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but you know it's true. So, let's continue on with this anyways. Cause look, dude, you, you've got to be a couple fries short of a Happy Meal. I mean, look at you. Just look at you. Yeah, you're right. I did miss a few on the fries. How about you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyways. And the nominee is for Best Actress are... 
Jen Otis for the sure thing. Then we have Eric O'Donnell, I'm sorry, Ashley Berenger, the gas station amendment. Linda Carver for Squash Like a Grapefruit, the DMV Lady, and the Chocolate Affair. Molly McDonald for Squash Like a Grapefruit, proper parenting skills, and what happens behind the bar stays behind the bar. Amanda Vogt for What Happens Behind the Bar Stays Behind the Bar. Cat Abrams for The Kiss. Paige Branson for The Gas Station Amendment, Get to the Chapel, Murder by Midnight, and The DMV Lady. On this one, I'm going to apologize because I don't know how to say the last name, but uh, for Amy Luce, for the sure thing. And finally, Miss Lauren Stacy for the audition. And just think, ladies, just, just, just think, ladies, the winner gets to come up here and stand next to uh, John. Lucky you. Let's see who our winner is. And the winner is, if Rook can open the envelope, it's a bitch just like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's look at this. We have a tie. All right, the first winner is Paige Branson for Get to the Chapel, The Gas Station Amendment, and Murder by Midnight. say thanks uh, for this award. I never thought I would actually get this. Um, first Bonnie Awards that I've been to was the one in winter quarter um, and I saw the awards being given out and I'm like wow am I ever gonna make it that far up but hey I guess I did so I must be doing something right. Um, I must say it was awesome being in three plays. They were a joy. Everybody Working with everybody was awesome. Except when you got a concussion. Except when I got a concussion. That was, uh, that was painful. <laughs> so, yeah, get to the chapel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The second winner is Linda Carver for the DMV Lady, Squash Like a Grapefruit, and the Chocolate Affair. <laughs> hoping Paige was gonna flash me. Um, <laughs> just saying, you know, all the, all the guys got it. I, I'm just not that lucky, I guess. <laughs> Rook got to see it, really? You know. <laughs> oh yeah. I love you. Exactly. Um, this goes to um, definitely my all of my cast members because you all, all are members. awesome. And what? All your what members? I said this one really goes to all of my. <laughs> you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna edit this? Cause, um, we are now. <laughs> this goes to my cast members because um, without you guys, I couldn't perform. So that sounded even worse. All right, I'm gonna go now. Thank you. <laughs> that music. Okay, uh, welcome back to the Linda Carver Award Show. Uh, what is the tally count for you right now? Oh, well, we know you're not Susan Lucci. I gave Brooke the other one, so. Uh, what, 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 uh, four? I have three. I gave one for Brooke. I have two. 
It's nice to be the popular girl at the dance, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, listen, I want to mention one thing in the lobby. We have something new out there. It's a separate table instead of putting it at the concession stand with a little history of some of the theater troupe we've done here over the years. I want to draw your attention to it. Please stop by and take a look at some of the people who have gone by these walls. Uh, they have gone on to great and big and better things. Uh, just like the people in this room, I'm sure, will someday. So keep up the good work. Uh, to present our next award of the evening, please welcome the Best Director nominee this evening for The Chocolate Affair, Miss Kathleen Med. This side looked dangerous to try and enter from. <laughs> Let's not forget the point of theater, of the theater troupe here on campus. It's to help you become a better speaker, which is why it's run under the guise of general education. Sometimes there are those who excel at the craft, and then there are these guys <laughs> who come a close second. Here are the nominees for the 2013 Bonnie Award for Best Actor. I'm hoping I'm going to pronounce these names correctly. Joe Baca, thank you. <laughs> for Murder by Midnight. Eric O'Donnell for The Kiss. Robert Bryant for the get to the get to the chapel and the chocolate affair. <laughs> Topher Putman for the roll call. <laughs> Caleb Showalter for squashed like a grapefruit. <laughs> and DMV lady and Get to the chapel. John Roberts for the sure thing. J oh. Rook, the gas station amendment. These are not matching up to here. <laughs> Perry Hull for elementary dating techniques. Jay Gossett for proper parenting skills and what happens behind the bar stays behind the bar. Walter Wells for the chocolate affair. Nick McQueen, get to the chapel, the kiss, and what happens behind the bar stays behind the bar. <laughs> Zach Coleman for The Sure Thing. Okay, we have a tie for the winner of this year's Bonnie Award for the Best Actor. The first winner is Caleb Showalter for Squash Like a Grapefruit, The DMV Lady, and Get to the Town. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Really surprised to be up here. Look to my right. Oh, oh yay! 
<laughs> we get we presents. we get presents. I didn't realize that. Um, this is gonna have to so go somewhere in my car up here. Uh, uh, well, thank you. I uh, very much appreciate this. Um, I'm not really an actor. Uh, you guys are kind of crazy, really. I mean, I got roped into one play. Next thing you know, I'm doing two. Uh, I have to owe it to Linda. She really carried me through it. She said it, she said that uh, the performance that she gets, I mean, I play off her, so it's really it. thanks to Linda over there. So if you guys give a round of applause to her, too, as well. Yes, we need to mention Linda Moore. <laughs> yeah. Linda. There you go, Linda. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, better actors out there. I mean, Perry, Elementary Dating, you did great, man. You did great. All right, well, that's all, really all I have to say, so thanks, guys. The second winner is Rook for the Gas Station Amendment. God, Topher isn't here. <laughs> um, I can't accept this award. There's a reason behind it. I've been in theater troupe longer than anyone else, and I've watched people come and I've watched people go. I've received enough awards to fill the back of my van, and to be honest, they're becoming a pain in the ass. <laughs> but this theater troupe was really awesome because I, amongst friends like Linda Carver and Perry Hall, people I've worked with before, I saw a lot of up-and-comers, so I don't know who really gets this, but Eric, I'd like to give this to two individuals that I've seen recently who I think deserves this more than me. Two? Two, yes, two, a, a three-way tie. <laughs> no, um, having watched dedication, skill, and laughter, and humor, I'd like to dedicate this award, and I don't care which one of you fights the death over to get it, <laughs> Mr. Nick McQueen and Eric O'Donnell. You guys took what we do, and we push it harder, and we push it longer, for more laughs, more joy, <laughs> and more memories. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, Give it to him. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Th Thank you, Rook, for going Hulkamania and ripping the, uh, <laughs> ripping the award in half. Guys, this is really a big honor. Um, I mean, seriously, the whole cast was great, and Rook, you did it. You did do an amazing job in gas station. I haven't seen your previous work, but I know it was probably just as great or even better. Um, but this is just something I just love doing. Uh, I love being an actor and love doing everything about entertaining people. I'm glad that I made you laugh, and to everybody I was with, along with the plates, and to my directors that directed me. Uh, you guys were great. My, the cast was amazing. Just thank you guys for everything. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see any of them because all of my plays were spaced out to where every time I finished one, I had to go get ready for the other one. It depends. Are you standing on stage? <laughs> Anyways, the real reason I wanted to come up here was just to uh, share the love and say, uh, Linda, one more time. <laughs> it's good to be the king. Uh, Rook, we have an extra trophy for... Should I break it in half and give you the... I, I can't... Wait, this is Rook's on it. Rook, can, can you... Give the other half to... They, that way they can duct tape it nice and... Yeah, it's... It's such an honor to be at this crappy plastic thing. <laughs> All right, bye, Rook. <laughs> yes, there you go.
Congratulations to Linda Carver once again. Just because we like to say the name Linda Carver. And by the way, uh, Topher will see this because it'll be on the web and I'm sure you'll be the one contact. Hey, hey Topher, check out the website. This is the one where you lose best actor. Isn't it great? By the way, this is John Pittman. Click. <laughs> speed this up because we have a whole show to get to and the Titanic hasn't even hit the iceberg yet. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go back in time and welcome Best Actress nominee Lauren Stacy to the stage for the award for awarding the Best Director trophy. Just sat down. <laughs> All right. Uh, good evening. It used to be when you thought of a director, you'd think of a temperamental old man barking out orders through a megaphone while sitting far away from the. Like you. I don't need a microphone. That's true. Um, far away from the action in the chair. Nowadays, you envision a hip and trendy and fast-talking visionary and, <laughs> and wants to try and make art with actors. But at a college level, you don't get the resources of a professional or the educated actors who get why it's important not to miss a rehearsal. <laughs> Here, you get it all, mostly the later. And you have to roll up your sleeves, suck in your pride, and kiss a lot of ass. Some can do it, some abandon ship. Well, here are the ones who did it, and here are the nominees for the 2013 Bonnie Awards for Best Director. Haley Wagger, Wagers, for, for proper parenting skills. John Pittman, for Murder by Midnight. Kathleen Med for The Chocolate Affairs. <laughs> Topher Putman for Tom, Dick, and Harry. Andrew Prell for The DMV Lady. Justin Moore for The Audition. Paul Coleman, The Sure Thing. Linda Carver, Squash Like a Grapefruit. Eric O'Donnell, The Kiss. And Robert Bryan, Forget to the Chapel. John Pittman for Murder by Men. Uh, this is one of the few times where uh, I don't have don't have a joke to crack here. Um, honestly, it was my actors and my actress that did most of the work. Um, they they were there all the time. I didn't have the problems that the other directors had. Um, I was able to find them all pretty quickly and pretty easily. So really, like they they made it so easy for me. Uh, Paige did give herself a concussion, but that was really because it was uh, her fault, not mine. Uh, so uh, I'm glad she recovered from that because I would have hate to have had to beat her up for not remembering her lines. Uh, but no, really, they did a great job, and honestly, uh, <laughs> this makes for all the crappy plays I've had before. So, <laughs> thank you guys. You might have heard John Pittman yell out, this is for Dom 
and uh, you've come a long way since reindeer boot camp. <laughs> and what was the one last year that made uh, Bonnie Byrne have a heart attack? That was uh, the that Monk was play. Terrible. Yes, you remember that one, Dean Byrne? That was the personal favorite. I have it at home on DVD. You can buy a copy in the lobby. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our final award of the evening, I want to introduce uh, Dean Bonnie Byrne, the uh, beautiful woman who the awards show is named after, the Bonnie Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean Bonnie Byrne. Hello. There are many opportunities for a student at AI to learn through experience, and there's just nothing harder than creating a play. And Eric Sprouse is the best instructor in the history of all instructors of the world. <laughs> it's trial and error, and getting all of these elements together at once and in unison can be even more difficult. It's effective speaking at its finest. Our final award of the night is a lot like the others and is voted upon by the members of the shoestring players. While all of the plays made us laugh, this is the one you said stands above the others because all of the elements were there. The lines were down, the acting was crisp, the sets and the costumes looked good, and there weren't really any problems on its way to entertaining us to its fullest. You've seen the nominees all night long. I know you're excited. And now we finally arrive at the best overall play of the night. I'm coming. Can I get a drum roll? That's right. Bring it on. The best overall play is the gas station amendment. Oh, yeah, yeah. You to break that one. Brooke, you can That's fly. for later. Um. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> uh, oh, um, good evening. <laughs> um, um, I don't really have speeches. I should have wrote this down, cards or something. Um, not that I was expecting anything. God. Um, so this play was probably my favorite one to be in especially with my um, teammate over here. We are awesome. Uh, I love uh, working with him. Uh, makes rehearsing fun. And I don't know, we make a good team, I think. So, and I really, this play was just, I loved it. <laughs> I, I like the other ones, but this one was just, to be honest, it was kind of all natural. Improv mostly. I mean, we had re we uh, we rehearsed, but um, we did yeah, sort of. <laughs> yeah, like five but, minutes before we went on stage. Yeah, for two hours we went over the script, <laughs> so right before the the play started. So um, it was fun, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. So I'll take I'll just let Rook take over. <laughs> Thanks. Um, first off. It's true, we only rehearsed like two hours before we got this. No. Um, uh, first of all, all my thanks goes to Paige. Uh, dedicated, hardworking, a joy to be around. Um, every once in a while, it's, it's a blessing to really have somebody you can bounce off of when you're up on stage. And Paige. <laughs> and Paige was. <laughs> and, and Paige was that perfect teammate to make the laughs happen. Also, Eric. Um, with his busy schedule, her work schedule and mine, it was really hectic to find time to even get together to, to even talk about the play. So he was also a, a great director. Um, and yeah, I got flashed. That was awesome. So, uh, and as many as the plays that I've been in, this is one of my favorites. So once again, it, it's not about me. I'm just some slob working behind a counter. It, it, right there. Aw, thanks. So, thank you to everybody for their support. Um, all the other cast members of the other plays, uh, anyone that keeps us going, the, uh, the students who are here tonight in his current classes to support us, and of course, Eric.
and Doug and Nitra, and I would say Pittman, but meh, so I'll just say Linda instead. <laughs> Rook, you didn't flash anybody. No! No! No, no save it for the ladies, please. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I was handed something backstage. It was a gift from some of the actors, and I wanted to share it with you because it kind of made me think of... Uh, uh, well, it doesn't have Linda's picture on it. I was really disappointed in that. With her and her trophies, like... You know? Uh, but uh, when you're an AI, you have a chance to be something that obviously without the assistance of AI would be a lot more difficult to do. So they gave me a shirt that says, um, they said I could be anything, so I became awesome. And on that note, I hope every student in here does exactly that. Uh, let's get this show started. I know it's been a long award show, but we had to get that stuff out of the way. Get to the good stuff, which is the actual show. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Drive safely tonight. Enjoy the show. <laughs>